Let's go then. Let's check inside. Locked, and the windows are blocked. Let's hope they didn't barricade the door from the inside. Oh, it's blocked from the other side, but there seems to be a weak spot in the wall. Kindly make us a new door, Miss Rain. I'd like to investigate. <laughs> Tear it apart, Rain. <laughs> Good girl. Watch this. Show off. Bloodlust satisfied? Not bad. Shh. There's one. Use your aura sense to see it in the dark. Easy prey, if you want it. He's a big meal. Look how bright his aura is. He has no idea we're here. He's not panicking or hurt. Yet. This one's yours. Take him down or grab a bite to eat. <laughs> Good girl. Where to now? You tell me. Use your aura sense. Guess we're done here. Let's go to the church. Damn bloodsuckers. Careful with your relatives. They should have more sense. Thanks for dragging me out here. I just love the water. You're only half a vampire. A dip might hurt, but it won't kill you. So does sticking a finger in my eye doesn't mean I have to do it. No time for pleasantries. Just like your half-sister. I'm just confident in my abilities. So am I. But this is your first assignment for the Brimstone Society, so everything must go according to plan. What do we know so far? Fine. Newspapers claim the people of Morton, Louisiana are turning into some type of monster. They're calling them mutates. Doctors think a new disease is the cause, so they've quarantined the area. You make me proud. 
There are numerous known biological masses in town. They appear to be the carriers of the condition. And that's where you come in. Destroy the sources of the infection. And as many of the infected townspeople as possible. The disease cannot spread beyond this village. Sort of a radical cure, don't you think? You will be doing them a favor. In the final stages, their brains liquefy and run out their nose and ears. The hell of a cold. One of the biological masses was found at the end of this road, in a graveyard behind the church. We'll meet up there. What's that mound by the telephone pole? What is it? It is, was, human. Might be remains from the final stages of the disease, but there's something not quite right about it. Let's check inside. Hmm, seems like somebody made their last stand here. Grab some guns if you want. Good thing we're not hypersensitive to holy items like some vampires. You should be all set. I'm going to leave through these documents. Maybe I can find something about past outbreaks of the disease. <sighs> wall stretches across the whole town, 30 feet high. I can see that. So? From what I understood, even the earliest French settlers feared something in these swamps. Feared what? What's this? After our dark year, in 1873, the first stone of this great wall of fortitude was laid. With this plaque mounted in the year 1888 of our Lord, construction is complete. May this wall of fortitude, with the grace of God, shield us from evil and keep us safe, now and forever. Seems like they built that wall for nothing. I'm going to see what else I can find in those books. You should take out those biomasses, the first ones in the graveyard. I'll meet up with you later.
What the? Is that the biomass? Strange creatures, aren't they? Strange isn't the first word that comes to mind. What are they? I'm not sure, but it seems they carry a disease that causes mutations in humans. The mutates? Right. And remember those sludge mounds we've been finding everywhere? <laughs> 